Hi, I'm Dan McGinnis, real estate agent with Home Smart. I want to share something with you if you're a real estate agent. In particular, if you're a real estate agent and you have someone that wants to buy a home, but they have circumstances where they want a particular home and that home is not on the market right now. But it could be tomorrow, next week, next month. <clears throat> because I have a friend of mine who last year I suggested he get a real estate license. And he sold three or four homes. But now he's got someone that's a, it's an older couple, and he said they wanted a new home, or almost new. And I said, well, would they take a home that's completely remodeled? He said, well, yeah, I think so. I said, okay. <clears throat> I did this about 35 years ago. I did it about five times. You show them a couple homes to where they can see, oh, yeah, okay. The one they want may come on the market next week, next month. Then you get theirs on the market. Then you get an offer on their home. And you counter the offer that you accept that buyer's offer, contingent upon them giving you two weeks to find the home you want. Contingent upon <clears throat> sellers finding an acceptable home. Now if they say, no, we ain't going to do it. Okay, have a nice life. Go on. Nothing unethical, nothing illegal. <clears throat> get another buyer. Same thing. We accept your offer contingent upon us finding a suitable home in 14 days. Now you go and you find it and you write an offer on it, but something goes wrong. You come back and say, well, it's been 10 days. We need to extend our offer another two weeks. They may accept that. If they don't, have a nice life. Get another buyer. But this works, okay? <clears throat> and it don't have to go that deep. I know, because I've done it five or six times. You get someone else, they accept it. You go, look, you find a home, okay, we got it. But those people got to find another home too. So we got a little working together here and negotiating and building relationships between people living in three different homes. You get that all put together. Be honest with everybody. Lay, lay everything out there so everybody knows everything that's going on. And then you button it down. Okay, now we're going to extend our close of escrow till such and such a date, three weeks from now or whatever. Then you close escrow on that home and simultaneously close escrow on the home that they're moving into. This works, folks. I know. I've done it before. Have a great day.